basically policy uh, interventions uh, are according to me like uh, padmavati moments uh, we all <laughs> know what happens or what uh, has happened uh, to the fate of padmavati release uh, directors producers the artists have spent so much of time and lo and behold first december does not happen uh, very uh, similar and i've taken that analogy just to extrapolate that to tell you how uh, policy interventions can actually create <laughs> or destroy business franchises uh, india is also known to be uh, you know a land of uh, movies in fact uh, they, it's it's on record that we produce the highest number of movies per year uh, do we have the same statistics for policy i don't know but uh, i think uh, over the past couple of years we have seen many many policies uh, uh, it's very difficult uh, for us over the next maybe 60 70 minutes or so cover the entire landscape of the policies and uh, as i would say uh, if i bring mythology in that uh, in the morning keynote address uh, jitendra very beautifully gave you uh, something which i call it gita ka sar so uh, the bhagavad gita synopsis is known to you what we will try to do is give you some insights into some policies of the bhagavad gita so if 2017 uh, any guesses which which is the hit movie of 2017 so far because we have just 10 12 days more to go but any guesses no movie buffs here bahubali yes that's right so uh, a movie called bahubali which does not have a bollywood actor by the way was a hit movie of the year and completely unknown and there was a movie like tube light which is like a hit actor a bollywood icon which struggled to cover even 200 crores in 2 months turned out to be a tube light they actually turned out to be a tube light so that's again uh, a glimpse of policy making for you so what are so you know if we were to you know you, you have these mimicry art try to uh, recreate an amitabh bachchan or a baba whoever devanand etc so while i'm no mimicry artist over here if but we, if we were to give names to some of the policy reforms or policy introductions that we saw this year or maybe a couple of years back and the key things that we would like our panelists to cover today what would they be uh, so i think the first thing that comes to all our mind is uh, demonetization at least uh, it had far reaching implications 811 so we knew 2611 we know we knew 911 and now we know 811 so what could be the closest movie uh, that we could relate to at least i can relate to so i don't know and and probably you could do uh, when harry met sejal yeah. and why do i say that because um, we all uh, educated indians across tried to hunt like harry and sejal went to hunt for a diamond ring uh, you actually saw india actually hunt for the black money guys uh, harry message was a flop i don't know about demonetization <laughs> so i will not talk about that it becomes a political agenda uh, the next uh, thing obviously that comes to mind is gst uh, a one country one tax envisaged kind of uh, uh, an event uh, but executing it across um, uh, 29 states and uh, i think uh, that would be something uh, like a shahanshah because you are an asian continent right you believe that you are part of asia but do you really know you are actually been taught the wrong thing india is not part of asia we are actually part of africa surprising it's not surprising because in terms of tax governance we are at par with africa probably even poorer than that our tax to gdp ratio is one of the lowest in the world so you had to have a shensha moment in the form of gst to bring the uh, so called uh, rich people under the ambit of tax and demonetization and gst in the form of direct indirect tax have tried in some form and manner to achieve that objective what about nclt what about insolvency and bankruptcy code they are your dons there are don ones and don twos because you have great gamblers all across the country who conveniently borrow money from bankers from uh, banking uh, non banking financial institutions and they continue to own uh, savvy cricket teams but they don't pay up their debt and very nicely they continue to stay out of the country completely unscathed so you required these dons in the form of um, nclt and uh, indian bankruptcy code to bring these defaulters to task to ensure that there is a law that prevails above all and last but not the least the psu bank recapitalization i can't recall an upfront movie but i think if i were to create a movie i would say kangal to malamal 
Obviously, you know, you have borne you have borne a hole in the balance sheets of your own. I mean, assuming you are a balance sheet and you are doing lending to these guys, you have created a hole due to reckless lending. And obviously, you need to be brought to task.